Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 17 Manchester United career mode. This is season one, episode three, and what a episode we have here today for you guys. We have the transfer deadline day in August. Hopefully we can sign some of my youth players that I have as targets, Yuri Tillemans and Julian Weigel, just to name a few. If you haven't seen Julian Weigel play in football for Borussia Dortmund, he is such a good player. I do see him as a sort of successor to Bastian Schweinsteiger. We also have the Manchester City, the Man Manchester Derby, and we have a match against Watford. Now, I'm going to spend the first part of this video giving you my thoughts and opinions on every single player I have in the squad and what my sort of plans are for the future because I have been getting a couple of questions from it and I want to make things clear for the 10 seasons. So, let's start with my formation. I'm going to be playing a 4-4-2 this season. I love two strikers up front. It's going to be heavily inspired from the sort of a hybrid between the classic Sir Alex Ferguson 4-4-2 and the Claudio Ranieri's uh, Leicester City title winning side. So first up we have Zlatan. I'm going to keep Zlatan. I'm going to play him in and out for the in and out for the entirety of this season. We'll reassess if his stats drop too much and he's not scoring goals next season. But there's no reason if he's banging in goals, I could keep him for three seasons. I absolutely love Zlatan. Brought in Graysman to lead the line. Not really much to say on him. Marco Royce, very much in the same boat. Going to be playing on that left-hand side. Paul Pogba as well. Mikatarian in the cam. A perfect replacement for Mikatarian would be Tony Cruz. I think the perfect partner for Paul Pogba would be Cruz. However, I don't want to cross-pollinate with my Real Madrid career mode and my Manchester United, not until later seasons, because I don't want it to be too the same. Um, so maybe in a couple of seasons, I might make an exception here and there in a couple of plays, but I definitely just don't want to be bringing in Cruz because I want to play with him in my Real Madrid career mode. For it, yeah, for, And also with my youth players as well, I've deliberately spread my youth players around the three career modes, Newcastle, Manchester and Real. So, for example, if you guys say, sign Kasper Dolberg, the 18-year-old Great Dane, the Viking from Ajax. Um, I'm not going to sell him in the... I'm not going to sign him in the Manchester United because I've signed him in the Newcastle and Real Madrid. Right, Mares, we brought him in on that right-hand side. Luke Shaw is going to be the hope for the captain one day. The only player I could see replacing him with would be David Alaba, but I, there's, unless I have just an abundance of extra cash, I don't see myself replacing Luke Shaw. Centre-backs rise. I love Chris Smalling. I really want to keep him there. Eric B has a bright future ahead of him. Uh, maybe we could bring in Jerome Botang if one of them wants to leave or we have any problems. Matteo Damian. I really do quite like Matteo Damian. We managed to receive a bid from West Ham earlier on in the summer, but I rejected 40 million. There is no one else I want to replace Matteo Damian with apart from Nathaniel Klein. Obviously, a former Southampton right back would have some very good chemistry with Luke Shaw. He is English, but unless we have a little bit of money to splash the cash, I think I might keep Damian, but I would like to bring in Nathaniel Klein. David De Gea in goal, not going to be changing that. Now, let's talk about Marcus Rashford and Wayne Rooney. Marcus Rashford is not the same Marcus Rashford in real life. I didn't want to stake my title challenge on a 76-rated 18-year-old up front. I have the money. I wanted to splash the cash on Graysman, and I think that's a very good thing to do. I, I, I believe... Uh, Rashford should be a higher plated ra higher rated player in FIFA. I'm going to be giving him so much game time this season and starting matches, but like I said, he's not the same. Like, in real life, if you put Ibrahimovic and Rashford up front, had a solid Manchester United so side, you would win the league um, quite easily. But I wanted to bring in Graysman. I don't want to stake my title hopes on such a young youngster who could be inexperienced. It's, it's, it's just so much different in career mode from real life real life. Let's talk about Wayne Rooney. Some of you guys wanted me to sell Wayne Rooney. I'm going to give Wayne Rooney until January. I still think we can score a couple of goals with him just before January. We can probably inflate his price a little bit more. Let him go up in stats. And I think, honestly, he can nick a goal here and there. He's very good on career mode, but he is getting a little bit past it. He has till January, then we'll probably sell him. Anthony Martial on that left-hand side will be coming fresh off the bench. A lot with Ander Herrera. Really do love Ander Herrera. He's probably going to be replacing Mikatarian if he gets a little bit exhausted. Jurgen Dam obviously brought him as an impact sub. Is the fifth fastest player in FIFA. Daly Plind can play all over the park, very much like a David Alaba. He can play as left back, centre back, defensive mid, and is such a utility player that if I'm if I'm weak anywhere or pick up any injuries, he is the man. I will be selling hopefully uh, Johnston. I don't think I can loan him out. Ashley Young, Jesse Lingard, Valencia will be sold. They are on the transfer list, hopefully. 
I think Young is getting a little bit past it. Jesse Lingard is probably an alright player on FIFA, but the thing is, right, what, the reason why I don't like one Massa and Lingard is just because they're so light on the ball, they get pushed off it quite a lot. You're better off getting something a little bit taller, a little bit stronger, like Riyad Mahrez. Jones, I'm quite happy to keep if he shoots up in stats because he does have a high potential. Hopefully, we'll try and loan him out this season. Marcus Rojo is on the transfer list, so hopefully, we can sell him as well. I really do like Marouane Fellaini. I think we can keep him in the squad with his height and composure on the ball. He's very good at breaking up play and destroying in the midfield. Fosu Mensa will hopefully uh, contest the mid field if we bring in Julian Weigel or Yuri Tielemans. Schneidlin, I still think he has a role in the squad as well. If he doesn't get much game time, we might loan him out, but he's still quite young. Bastian Schweinsteiger is on the transfer list and I want to try and free up those wages. Some of you guys said in the comments, sell Memphis to Pi. I'm not inclined to do that. If he hasn't, if, if there's any players that don't get enough game time um, until January, I will reassess that and hopefully try and loan them out. Okay, guys, we have received a 9 million bid from Southampton for Rojo, and I am inclined to hopefully sell him on and hopefully get Nathaniel Klein in the future. So Rojo has been sold. Um, hopefully, he probably do all right at Southampton. Tottenham have submitted a bid for Morgan Schneiderlin. We roughly have around about 10 million in the bank. We're currently negotiating here with Borussia Dortmund to hopefully get the services of Julian Weigel, an absolute animal in real life. 9.5 million for Julian Weigel. What a bargain. 79 rated, 6 foot 1. Here is Julian Weigel in the Manchester United kit. What a player he has been. We picked him up so cheap. Here are the players that I have signed this season. Oh my god, we picked up Julian Weigel for 9.5 million. He is worth 12, 20 years of age. What a bargain for Julian. Okay guys, we are in the transfer deadline day. Oh no, David Alaba has left Bayern Munich to join Juventus for 55 million. That is such a joke. Laporte has signed for Arsenal. Any other huge transfers here? Oh my god, Chelsea have brought in Jamie Vardy. Uh, Liverpool have brought in Strutman. Mertens and Aarons, Manchester City, have brought in. Graysman is the top deal of the window, followed by Royce. Was that Serge Aurier? Oh my god, Liverpool have splashed 50 million on Marco Verratti. We've received an offer for 6 million from the Hammers for Ashley Young. I am happy to accept that, I think. Give me 7 million, give me his uh, worth. But we've signed Julian Weigel. I really can't wait to play with him on FIFA 17. I'm just such a huge fan. Go and watch him play for Borussia Dortmund. So we received an offer for Fellaini. I'm not going to accept that. And Ashley Young has been sold. We roughly have around about 7 million in the bank. We're currently negotiating here with West Ham to get the services of Reese Oxford. Josh on Omar. We're currently negotiating to hopefully bring back the Arsenal reject Miachi to the Premier League. I still think he's a very good player on FIFA. 23 years of age, has really good pace stats. Okay, Oxford, Josh, and Miachi have accepted the contract. And a 15 million bid for Bastian Schweinsteiger. We're going to accept that from Wolfsburg. I have been struggling to try and sign and sell players. Uh, not, not sign, uh, sell players this season and get bids. I just don't know. Yeah, I just found it really hard to sell players. So Miachi and Reese Oxford will be joining the club along with... Uh, we're not going to be able to sign Josh Bugger. But here are my youth players. Oxford and Miachi. Four-star weak foot, four-star skill move. Six foot as well. Here is Miachi in the Manchester United kit, the Red Devils kit. He has a point to prove in the Premier League. 23 years of age, really quick, one of the fastest players on FIFA. Reese Oxford, one of the youngsters who has a crazy potential there in the Manchester United kit. So here are all the players I've signed this season. Hopefully we can try and loan out Reese Oxford. I wanted to pick him up before he gets too expensive in later seasons. Chelsea have brought in Ake Vardy. And Mon Monolas, I think. Scuffert and Yuri Tillemans have accepted their deals. And Bastian Schweinsteiger has been sold to Wolfsburg. That was the first offer of the window I've got. 
So I've got roughly 12 million in the bank. Ah, oh, this is going to be difficult. I have to go for Yuri, even though I quite like Scuffet. We might have to go for him in January. But we've signed Yuri Tillemans, who could quite possibly be a long-term replacement for Paul Pogba. We are going to be doing 10 seasons with this Manchester United career mode. Here is Yuri Tielemans, five-star week foot. What a player he is. Obviously, I won't be signing him in my Real Madrid, but Josh on Omar on 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 Omar. That's how you say his name. 70 overall. Getting a lot of youth players here. Okay, guys, here are all the players that we've signed this season so far. Royce Maris, Jurgen Weigel, uh, Graysman Miachi, on Omar. Uh, a lot of quality players. Okay, coming to the last five hours, Manolas or Monolas has signed for Chelsea. Oh my god, Liverpool have accepted a 48 million bid for Philippe Coutinho and he's moving to Bayern Munich. Wow, what a huge deal. They did bring in uh, Marzo, Marco Verratti as well, Liverpool did, but they've sold Coutinho, that's huge. Tottenham Hotspur are bought in medal. <laughs> Coming to the last couple of hours of the August transfer window. I do have a short list of players that, if we have enough money, we'll try and sign in January. But the transfer window has slammed shut. I'm very, very happy with the signings I have. I've strengthened the two key, the three key positions that I wanted. My right midfield, my left midfield, and we brought in Graysman, Mares, and Royce. Three world-class players, and then we've brought youth players in the defense, in the midfield, and up top as well. What a lot of quality players. We didn't really need any strikers. That's why I saw more inclined to bring in midfielders uh, more so. Okay, guys, here are the board objectives. Obviously, we've already um, reached our shirt sale objectives. Here it is. You're most welcome to pause and have a look. My objectives is to hopefully win the Premier League this season. I do believe we can win the FA Cup and Capital One Cup or the what is it, EFL Cup this season. Also, it is time to spend some of our last remaining funds on bringing in some youth players. I haven't, obviously, up until this point... Brought in my youth academy. I've been spending so much time on transfers to the final day. Um, I feel like in my Real Madrid career, but I wrapped everything up so quickly. I think I just had more matches. So we're going to be sending one of my scouts to Australia. Obviously, I am Australian. We're going to be sending my other scout to England and the other to Sweden. I think maybe we can bring a new Zlatan Ibrahimovic to the squad. I think he'll be absolutely... Uh, to fa uh, absolutely fantastic. We could have sent him to Germany. We've got a lot of Frenchmen in the side as well, but because of Zlatan is such a prodigal player for us, I think I want to try and bring in some more Swedish lads. Okay, guys, here is the squad. I am going to do a rotation for the match against Manchester City, the derby coming up. I was sort of inclined to play my youth players and give them a run into the side, but I thought, I, I can't lose this derby. We need to strengthen, bring Martial, bring Ander Herrera, Fellaini, and Daly Blind, and sort of assess the situation when it comes up, we're playing the 4-4-2 as always. Graceman, Ibra leading the line. Paul Pogba, Mkhitaryan in the central midfield. Mares, Royce on the left and right. Luke Shaw, Smalling, Eric Bailly, Damian and David De Gea in goal. Wayne Rooney keen to come fresh off the bench. Marcus Rashford as well. But here is the squad. Um, yeah, I might try and play some of my youth players against Watford, but we will just have to see. So we have the... Manchester Derby at Old Trafford is going to be an absolute blast. So guys, if you still are enjoying this Manchester United series, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. But let's see who Manchester City are fielding. Okay, they are fielding. Let's see the formation. A 4-3-3, Sterling, Aguero, Navas, Gundogan, Fernandinho, De Bruyne, Kolarov, Otamendi, Company, Serge Aurier that they've recently signed, and Bravo in goal. A very solid side. Hopefully we can win the derby here today at Old Trafford. Okay, guys. Mkhitaryan, Pogba, Graysman. The Frenchman link up. A solid block. 
Right, just before the 20th minute, Graysman puts in a, an amazing ball over the top to Pogba, blistering away. Paul Pogba makes it 1-0, does the dab just before the 20th minute. What a ball from Graysman. He was tracking back on that counter-attack so quickly. Company couldn't catch Paul Pogba, and it is 1-0 at Old Trafford with an amazing over-the-top ball. The two Frenchmen link up and Pogba scores his second goal of the season. From the corner kick, Manchester City prep up straight to David De Gea. Serge Aurier plays it to Gundogan, blasts it to the left of David De Gea, the former Borussia Dortmund man. Marco Royce from the corner kick. Mares Damian hits it across the floor. Paul Pogba with the counter-attack finds Mkhitaryan. Another sort of lofting ball over the top, but company gets it clear. Okay, guys, it's roughly around about the 65th minute. It is time to make some substitutions to hopefully try and kill off this match. It is only a 1-0 split. Uh, well, not a split, just a 1-0 match at the moment. Uh, I'm going to bring on Mara and Fellaini to hopefully destroy the midfield, give us some height, because we have one of the tallest sides in the team, uh, the, in the uh, league. Manchester City have one of the smallest. Marco Royce is coming off. Fellaini, Martial, and Blinder coming on. Blinder's going to play that left-back position for me. I'm basically going to have three centre-backs back there. <laughs> Just glitching with the, the same animation. Quite funny. Where's the man bun? The man bun. Oh, okay. Matteo Damian finds Mares with the cutback. It is blocked once again. Guys, the full-time whistle has been sounded. A 1-0 victory over Manchester City. Six shots to four to one shot to zero. They did some excellent defending after that Paul Pogba goal, but we managed to scrape a victory. Okay, guys, now moving to the next fixture against Watford. Okay, guys, I'm going to play the exact same formation after the and the team. After the victory against what, uh, Manchester City, we're going to be playing a little bit of a rotated side against uh, Watford, more so on the bench. I'm going to bring on Miachi, Julian Weigel, and Yuri Tillemans. They're going to be getting their debut uh, here today against Watford, and I can't wait to uh, yeah play them. We actually did lose to Watford in real life. Guys, it is piss pouring with rain at Vicarage Road away. Famously, Manchester United lost 3-1 in real life. Hopefully, we don't uh, sort of concur the same result. I will be giving Julian Weigel, Miachi, and Yuri Tillemans their debut. So, they're playing a five at the back, Kabul, Piera, very solid side there. Watford just before the third minute. That's a nice ball over the top. Oh my god. David De Gea in the piss pouring rain must have slipped, but we're 1 0 down against Watford. What a start. 1 0 up just before the fourth. The Nigerian rises to the occasion. It's 1 0 at Vicarage Road. Oh no. Matteo Mikatarian's tracking back there. Why is he there? All right, Mares has done one. That's a good fucking shot, though. Damn it. Piera. Obviously, the Juventus owner owns Watford and Juventus. So there's a lot of former Juventus players. But my God. We're 2-0 down against Watford at Vicarage Road. What a ball from Piera. And how did David De Gea not get to that? Completely mistimed it. He's having a shocker. Luke Shaw and Smalling. Ibrahimovic, we're 2-0 down. Thumps it. Paul Pogba plays inside Zlatan. Luke Shaw oh, sprays it over the bar. That was a good attempt, though. From the corner kick, Marco Royce finds Riyad Mahrez. Scoop turns, whips it in the box to Bay. Another corner kick from Bay's header. Mahrez finds Paul Pogba. We're back in it, guys. Makes it 
two it makes it yeah two one just before the 32nd how the hell did we scrape a one nil victory over Manchester City and we we were two nil down in 15 minutes against Watford Pogba that's a good shot but they are playing five at the back the scumbags Graysman's through here oh my god blasts it Right, it's half time. I'm going to need to make some substitutions. I'm going to bring on Julian Weigel for Mikatarian. I think he'll do well in this role. Maybe he can track back and forth a bit, but what a player he is going to be, Julian. Pogba finds Zlatan. Ah, Ibrahimovic. Graysman finds Riyad. That's a nice ball over the top to Paul Pogba. The prodigal son has returned. The man, the myth, the legend. Paul Pogba makes it 2-2 just before. Wow. Just before Watford can score another. Check out this ball from Riyad. Paul Pogba clear. Hits it on the bounce. It is 2-2 at Vicarage Road. Hopefully we can come back now and uh, claim the three points. Four goals. Right, it's time to change things up a bit here. I'm going to bring on Miachi, and I'm going to bring on Yuri Tillemans. I did say I wanted to give them their debuts uh, here today. We'll keep Rashford off and Wayne Rooney. I think we can comfortably win this match now. I just need to sort of tweak where I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring on Yuri, and we'll take off Royce, because Riyad has just been so well in this match. We'll put... Tillemans on the left, Julian Weigel in that sort of centre defensive mid role. Miachi gets it played to him. Paul Pogba, oh that is so close for his hat trick. Watford on the attack here. I'm scared of them, that's a good block though. Watford are playing so well in this match and so is Riyad. Graysman gets tackled, Miachi, oh my god, what was that? 26 yards out. Graysman to put it straight to the goalkeeper. Guys, we have a counter-attack on our hands. Graysman finds Miachi just before the 90. Miachi! <gasps> You're joking. Puts it wide. What a shocker. That was the win right there. If only we had Marcus Rashford on. Pogba. Graysman gets blocked. Guys, I'm disappointed to officially announce that we've drawn the match against Watford. A 2-2 draw. 16 shots to 11 on target. Those motherfuckers. If, oh, five shots to three. Watford dominated me in the first half. Scored two goals within quick succession. Paul Pogba did bring two back though, but the first draw of the season... I needed the points against Watford if we want to push on for the title. It was what the critical error was that I miss I, I underestimated Watford. I'm being if I'm being honest, I should not have brought on the youngsters because um, I w thought I wanted to give them a chance. Yuri played well, so did Julian Weigel. I shouldn't have put Miachi up front. I should have put Rashford or Wayne Rooney on. They would have absolutely c um, killed off that game. Rashford and Rooney would have scored that last goal. Pierre, uh, not Pierre, um, Miachi, the Japanese man, to poop to prove a point in the Premier League, being sold by Arsenal. Misses the one-on-one -on -one chance, and that is not... He lost just the three points then, well, more so me, <laughs> by selecting him, but that's not going to be easy to forgive, that loss against Watford. But maybe I'm being a little bit too harsh on the guy. Once we get to January, I'll sort of re-establish how much game time, because obviously there's only a certain amount I can give to players. I'll try and spread it around the pitch with my youth players, and uh, I yeah, I might have to, si uh, to loan out some of the youngsters. But I've been finding it very difficult to loan out and sell players in FIFA 17 career mode. Let me know in the comments. But I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Ready. Check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And stay tuned for more content on my channel. My name has been Simsy. Take care. Episode 4 of the Manchester United Career Mode is next. I really can't wait to uh, see what this se season has for us. Take care. Bye-bye. Riyad Mahrez with another scoop turn. He's absolutely terrorizing this right-hand side. <gasps> Paul Pogba. 
Paul Pogba has just pulled a bicycle kick out of the bag.